Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Urban Ghost Urban Exploration. You guys wanted to see more videos and Rob and I have been diligently working on them. And we also been putting out these uh, reaction videos. I hope you guys love those as well. Ooh, alright, so. <laughs> We're at a very familiar place. Chris and I came here several months ago. And this is a house that the owner left and abandoned the house. It's a mansion. And he left it because he said it was so creepy and voices and bangs and it's fallen to ruin at this point. I mean, it's completely vandalized. Um, he reached out to me and said he wanted us to come back. He loved the videos. Now, Rob's first time here, and guys, I gotta tell you, we just kind of walked through this place. Holy crap, man, we're hearing footsteps and everything. This is, this is really weird. Now, we're probably gonna come back. The owner did give us permission to do tonight. Uh, we're gonna come back, probably do 30 minute alone challenges, depending on how tonight goes. I gotta tell you, right off the bat, I don't like this place at all. Now the owner said this place is haunted, Chris and I were here, we caught voices and bangs and... And I'm still hearing them. You guys are coming with, let's do this strong. Peace. Alright guys, so we're about to start this video and uh... I think we should start it with a prayer, Rob. Do you want to do a prayer? Yeah. Alright guys, as always, if you want to join this prayer, uh, we believe in prayer firmly and, and uh, if you'd like to join, that'd be great. If not, that's okay too, but we're gonna do it. Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, you are our Savior. Please be with us as we do this explore tonight. Please be with all who watch this video. It's through you, Christ, I know anything's possible. Amen. All right, let's do it. All right, now we're going to try to be extra, extra careful tonight because I, I got a really bad feeling about this joint. Like, uh, not only is it haunted, but there could be people coming in. Yeah. What was that, bro? Did you step on something? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right, so the owner did ask us not to film the outside of the place, and of course, respectively, we're not going to do that. It's Rob talking. This mirror is creepy for some reason. Now Rob and I walked through here guys a minute ago. And that's the nice thing about coming with somebody, you have an opportunity to check out the place. So we are alone. something say get out of here it's <clears throat> moldy in here a little bit so it's affecting my allergies Any spirits here? The owner told us that you haunt this place. Are you going to show yourself tonight? Are you going to talk to us? I'm not showing that toilet because, oh my god, that would be the scariest thing in this whole place. Now, we'll have Rob's footage and my footage and, of course, combined footage. You hear that? What was that? Now, we'll have Rob's footage and my footage and, of course, combined footage. You hear that? What was that? I don't know, whatever it was, it didn't sound too nice. No. Film it, we don't condone it. This is pretty, 
pretty terrible. What we see explore. So, and I don't recall this being on the floor last time. I really don't remember that. No. <clears throat> wow. Sorry, I broke. Well, surprising. It's an entire room not with graffiti. Hey, what, what is this? Maybe left over food? Yeah. There's definitely signs of people in here. Again, we're not going out back, guys, because we promised the owner we would keep this place as secret. Inconspicuous as yeah. possible. Yeah, it looks like they just took some of the stuff from the Really, it just came in here and smashed up the place. Yeah. There's a lot of these like stars. And somebody told me when the stars pointing down at something like ritualistic or I don't know, but whatever it is. I don't want to get to know. The shower. I don't know about you, bro, but I'm definitely hearing little whispers. Yeah, I'm hearing a bunch of stuff. I don't know whatever it was, it didn't sound too nice. And guys, I do apologize about the graffiti. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, we film it. We don't condone it, but we want to give you a legit what we see explore. So, and I don't recall this being on the floor last time, man. I really don't remember that. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I keep clearing my throat, but ugh, this place is so gross. Hey, what, what is this? And maybe leftover food? Yep. There's definitely signs of people in here. Again, we're not going out back, guys, because we promised the owner we would keep this place as inconspicuous as possible. Yeah. There's a lot of these like stars. And somebody told me when the star is pointing down it's something like ritualistic or I don't know, but whatever it is, I don't want to get to know it. I don't know about you, bro, but I'm definitely hearing little whispers. Yeah, I'm hearing a bunch of stuff. That shower is pretty neat. Look at this. This was really nice at one time. Was that you? No. Did you hear that? Yeah. <clears throat> That's what I keep feeling like this. Something about this. I'm gonna check around this place with this. <laughs> I keep hearing like it sounds like somebody's gonna come walking in here. You know what, bro? That window last time was definitely not open. Yeah. It's a shame what really what people do to these places and there's really no need for it. And I'm gonna check up there guys. Rob, I'm gonna check the attic real quick. I'm sure it's fine, but Never, never a good idea to leave any stone unturned.
Holy crap, that's a big spider. Dang. That sucker's huge. Check up there, guys. Bro, I'm gonna check the attic real quick. You gonna check the attic? I'm sure it's fine, but. Sounds like a conversation. Yeah, you keep hearing how, like, I don't know, we heard all kinds of voices in here. Oh, that's a freaking animal. <laughs> that was loud, it scared the crap out of me. Some kind of frog. Just in case. Yeah, you keep hearing a comment, like, I don't know, we heard all kinds of voices in here. Yeah, the attic is clear. There's some kind of plastic thing here. I don't know what it is. Like hidden in the insulation. Yeah. Shit. So anyway, the owner said he's trying to sell this place. He's going to fix it up again. It's a shame that people destroyed it. And said he'll never come back here because it was so haunted. Now, so far, I feel like there's voices. Maybe there's um, echoing from the road. I don't know. I hope that's the case. Yeah. Again, sorry about all the bad foul graffiti, but when we film a location, we film it for what it's worth. And we don't, we're not going to blur that out because we want you to have the full effect of the video. Doesn't it feel like this house is booby trapped or something? Like there's something ominous about it besides the fact that it's super creepy. Well, I for sure feel like we're being watched. Right. Mm -hmm. On the edge. There's so much graffiti. There's Honestly, my hand's a little shaky tonight. There's so much uh, angle. Yeah. It's alone here, bro. It's gonna be creepy. All right, I'm gonna go I'll take turns, maybe going upstairs to get different perspectives. All right, so I'm gonna go upstairs here and uh, see what I can possibly capture. Who knows? Maybe nothing. Rob's gonna stay down here. Then we're gonna flip it around a bit. Um, I'm gonna be quiet because I hear all kinds of stuff. Damn. It's pretty awesome, but it's really nerve-wracking, too. All right, let's go upstairs. First thing I noticed right off the bat is the carpet's all burned. Or something was poured on the carpet. I don't know what that is, but it wasn't there last time as far as I know. <coughs> smells gross. I'm going to do the unthinkable, Robin. 
walking on the edge. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> if you uh, never see me again, guys, I did love you all. <laughs> Bye for now. I might fall. <laughs> Better stop messing around. Before I actually do fall. Is that you talking, Rob? There's somebody else talking too. Besides you. It's crazy. Last time I left my camera up here static and for some reason I feel like something's trying to push me off the edge, bro. Seriously. I got a little nudge over there, or something. I felt like that vertigo feeling like falling this way. All right, let me check this out. Again, guys, sorry I keep clearing my throat, but this place is disgusting as can be. No? What happened? Sometimes when I come do these explorers, I always say to myself, how do you do this alone? <laughs> I'm here with Rob and I'm scared. Did you just say what? Did you say what? Okay. In this bathroom, Something about it also bothers me a lot. Very nice at one time. But something about this makes me feel the worst in this whole place. Like this, this room, I feel this bathroom, I feel absolutely like I need to run out of here. Again, this weird smell. I think that may be. Oh, it's plastic, I think. It looks like marble. This is definitely marble. This is very expensive. Is definitely talking. Can you show me if there's a spirit here? Try to scare me how you scared the owner out of this place. Can you do that for me and Rob? That's that's me opening that. Just... Damn. Go check out all these rooms. place is really falling down. Oh man, look at that, an ant infestation in here. So I'm hearing voices and it's possible that I could be hearing Rob's voice echo up here as well. Really the only way to know that is listening back. Seriously? People came here and messed around? Ugh. Crazy. Now guys, I don't know what all this means. If anybody knows what all this means, and again, sorry for the foul nastiness, but this encrypted looking 
language here, whatever it's in. It's kind of strange. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's about. And but I heard something in there. And I already peeked my head up in the attic, so I was over there, so pretty sure there's nobody there. But I definitely thought I heard something. Strangely enough. But that's weird. Very weird. I just heard something go, die. You tell me to die? I tell you to piss off, you tell me to die. Again, out of all the places, this bathroom really freaks me out, and I don't know why, in this house. It's like... something bad happened in here. You know, I also came up with some other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, too. Alright guys, sorry about that. Um, trying to adjust this camera, it's not easy to do here. Alright, so Rob brought up a good point. And uh, he brought up a point that the owner told us this whole story about this place. And again, I know he's probably watching the video, so I do apologize, but we, we told you we're going to give you a straight up video. Um, is it possible? Like, it could be a setup on us, right? We hear stuff outside. I, I know that's really far-fetched, but you really never know, right? Like, it's, I don't know, uh, Something about this bathroom, like, what if the owner did something here to somebody in this bathroom? Like, I could feel it. Like, am I right? I don't know. I, I'm not psychic or anything. Just telling you guys what I feel, but... The bathroom's got a real bad feel to it. Like when you walk through this threshold, it's like, it's almost like, it's almost like walking into like, fucking hear that? It's like walking into like somewhere where you know somebody got killed. I can't explain it. Like it just feels like something bad. All right, let's continue on, guys, but I wanted to bring that up. See, if I, you hear that? Right behind me, there's all kinds of banging behind me. What is that noise? It was just in here. Damn if I know. It's talking. Definite talking. See, I also have a theory. I think that... I think that when you pray and come to these places, I also believe that to be almost like a catalyst that makes these spirits uneasy. I also think that when we're together, The activity slows down. That's why I like the 30 minute alone challenges. I think they try to get you when you're most vulnerable or, I don't know, it's just the theory. You guys have nothing to substantiate that with, just guesses based on what we've done in the past. It's real interesting that Rob had a feeling about the owner of this place, like... And it's some freaking frogs. Dude, those frogs scare me every time, man. Crazy, right? I, I had kind of a theory, though, that it's possible the owner could be setting us up. You, never, you know? 
You know, we talked about in the car when you brought up that point that the owner invited us here again, and we don't really know the owner. So maybe, like, we, I mean, we talked to him, but maybe he's out there watching us. I know you brought that up. See, Rob's always the voice of reason. Rob mentioned that on the way here. He's like, Joe, Chris and I kind of took it at face value. <laughs> Rob's like, uh, I don't know if we should take this at face value. We heard noises outside when we're out there, waiting. Are you going to do upstairs now? Just a real quick walkthrough, because I think we got messed, but I keep hearing a female voice. I keep hearing a voice, too. I don't know if it's female or not. Here's what I would tell you to do, Rob. First, check through. Put the camera on yourself in the bathroom, what I did, and you'll hear behind you talking, I think, because that's what I heard. And on top of that, like, it's the craziest thing. There's a very nice bathroom over here. Okay. Well, at one time, nice bathroom, nice. but I'm telling you, man, I'm hearing yeah. stuff in there. So, all right, I'll go downstairs. Rob's going upstairs, and it'll be interesting to see what we both capture. Again, we may walk out of here and capture nothing but ourselves talking, but... Yeah, you sure you want to come back for a 30 minute alone challenge here? <laughs> well, want, that's a strong word. But... Want is a strong word, but you know what, we love doing it. Honestly, I get really hyped up on that. Right, so... Yeah, I saw that, man. Oh, look at this. Did you get this ginormous spider down here? Guys, I think that's called the wolf spider. Look at that nasty. Hey, what was that? Did you say something? Damn. I, I freaking heard something. Talk to me. Damn, I hate this feeling. I hate the feeling of this place makes me feel limited control if that makes any sense like I feel as if there's somebody or something all around me now obviously it's Kind of silly to say somebody. I no, Rob and I are the only two in here. I mean, there's really not many places you can hide at this point. Oh, there we go. And Joe's upstairs. Yeah. I got a little nudge over there, or something. I felt like that vertigo feeling. Like oh my gosh. Way. All right, let me check this out. <clears throat> yeah, guys, sorry, I keep hearing my throat, but this place is disgusting as can be. This is so nasty. This reminds me a lot of the front. Is that you? No. What happened? It sounded like a bunch of blinds. I'm hearing so many things in this house, guys. This reminds me of the Frank Lloyd Red House for sure. Beautiful home. I mean, it was. Right, chain people gotta come in here and destroy it. Hmm. What's that? Did you say why? No. Yeah. Broken glass bottles. Popsicles. Yeah, so some of this stuff just could be the local kids. 
being stupid, but some of this stuff looks pretty dark. And uh, I've seen a lot of graffiti, but everything in this house is really, really bad. That crying shame. Keep hearing voices. Could be from the street. It was really hard to say. It's a pretty sizable property. You can still hear the, the uh, road noise. So much potential in a place like this. Yeah, I don't. Really, the only way to know that is listening back. Yeah, it's hard to say. <laughs> but I'm hearing female voices. So, yeah. So in this and this Joe's connecting with the sensitive side. I don't think that's him. Pretty awesome bathrooms. Are you gonna do upstairs now? Just a real quick walkthrough because I think we got enough, but I keep hearing a female voice. I keep hearing a voice too. I don't know if it's female or not. Here's what I would tell you to do wrong. First check through. Put the camera on yourself in the bathroom. What I did and you'll hear behind you talking. I think, because that's what I heard. And on top of that, like it's the craziest thing. There's a very nice bathroom over here. <laughs> okay. Well, at one time, one nice time bathroom. Nice. But I'm telling you, man, that I'm hearing yeah. stuff in there. So, all right, I'll go downstairs. <clears throat> It's definitely fancy schmancy. It's nicer than anything I've ever seen. <laughs> well, want, that's a strong word, but. Yeah. Uh, there's an open pack of condoms up here, several. Yeah, it's horrible. What? Did you say something? No. Oh, it got real quiet. That's weird. <sighs> Not sure what any of this is. Looks like a bunch of racial stuff, but I don't know what any of that writing there is. Um, I'm not sure they did it on purpose, but 
Unfortunately, they misspelled dirty. But it's freaking scary up here. Especially because the floor doesn't seem like it's uh, stable anymore. Oh wow. Look at this bathroom. Probably have planters on each side. Beautiful shower. Spa tub. This looks like marble tile. Already here and stuff. All right, let's see. Let's see there's some. Oh, there's a spider who just went to that drain. That's horrible. Let's see there's some Swisher sweets. Somebody's just scraping out the tobacco up here. is rotten now. Probably some severe leak damage. Hmm. What a loss. Still worth doing though. Hmm. Yeah, definitely hearing stuff. Just can't tell where it's coming from. <laughs> Guys, this stuff is so much fun in these places, especially new places I've never been. You never know what you're going to find. You never know what you're going to run into. You never know if you're going to run into people. <laughs> that, that fear, that adrenaline rush, it's pretty spectacular. Freaking love it. I love it. I love it and I hate it sometimes, but I do love it. <laughs> oh man. my life to get on these stairs. Guys, it's crazy hot. I think it was like 100 degrees today. Coming up here, which means it's probably well over 100 with the humidity. These don't look like vandalism. These look like they were pulled down. And then you see all that rotten wood. That's probably really some severe damage. <laughs> Do what? something can you show us anything close the door say say something respond to me tell me your name Paul is that what you said Okay, Paul. 
I'm going to shut the light. You want to talk to me now? I'm downstairs by myself. Rob's upstairs. Paul? Did I hear you say Paul? Guys, I am going to invest uh, this month in an infrared camera. But I also like the dark. I guess you're not going to talk to me anymore, Paul. That's what you said. Alright, so shadow figure, I think. Now again, guys, when we film these videos, a lot of what I say, I haven't looked at the film, obviously, but I swear to you, I looked and I just thought I saw a shadow. Damn frog scaring the hell out of me. Now I do want to point out, when we do these videos, obviously, we're walking through debris. Debris can make things sound like voices too. So I never want to jump the gun, but I love listening back to these videos. I strongly urge you to put on your headset when we do these videos. And when we do them, put on your headset and definitely listen because I'm telling you, we hear all kinds of crazy. I guess I'm not going to call this paranormal. Sorry, my camera shut off. It must be the 30 minute mark. But the door made a creaking noise in this close behind me. Is that from the wind it's possible because there's a window open here. However, there's no window open over here. But I don't want to jump the gun, but I definitely want to say that it's creepy as hell. You don't want to be anywhere in this place and see anything move except you. Wait, is it moving? No. Can you do the door again if you move the door? That's strange. I just made like a uh, creaking noise behind me. So, no windows are open in this part of the house. It was standing right here. I did a lights out for a few minutes and I heard the name Paul. Do you hear that? Yeah. You want to do lights out with me? Yeah. All right. I feel a lot safer with Rob in here. He's so scary. All right, guys. So we're gonna try lights out again. Now that door, I can't explain. I, 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 I don't know. Is it creepy? Hell yes, it is creepy. But Rob and I are about to do lights out. So uh, we want to. Up, but we do want to say uh, it was nice knowing you guys because uh, <laughs> this could very well be the last time you see us. It's been a blast. Yeah. Shut the lights. Is there anybody here? I do hear movement. Okay, so we don't want to sit here in the dark too long. Look at my arm, it's all goosebumps. I mean, that's crazy. There's fucking talking going on. Excuse the language. There's talking going on. But we're going to wrap this up because uh, there's another place we want to check out too while we're in the area. We don't get out this way much. And 
good God, this is freaking scary as all get out. Anyway, um, Rob and I hope, there he is, he's got that light on. Rob and I invite you to check out our vlog channel, it's UGUE Brothers Vlogs. Got some cool videos on there as well. And uh, we're going back and forth between the two, so you'll see lots of great videos. Anyway, please check out our merchandise below at www.ugubrothers.com. Till next time, guys, love you so much. I hope we captured something on here, who knows? I know something. I'm scared as hell in here, and I'm coming back for a 30 minute alone challenge. And I think I could talk him into it. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, guys, stay strong. Oh, that was a little muscle, that's a big muscle. All right, peace out.